Hey, hey everybody, it's me, your old pal, Double D, here with another quickie -ish review. Today, we're going to be talking about something that, well, quite frankly, I've had in my closet for a couple of years now. Originally, I bought it for my grandson, then I got him something new, and I thought, hey, I don't have this particular thing. I'll add it to mine. And with that, we'll just jump right into it. Yeah. Let's raise this up a bit because the box is a little bigger. And it is the Netflix Voltron. Now, as I said, this thing has been in my closet for a while. So, as you notice, they are no longer in the actual position they were in. They kind of fell out. But it's not opened yet. I'm more of a fan of the original, as you know, not the Netflix. I haven't even completed the series on Netflix yet. I mean to. I mean, come on, I'll get around to it. Okay, quick review of the box. The box looks pretty cool. Well, this back panel here does at least. Of course, we all know where each piece goes. I actually have some of the larger version of this, not to be confused with. Just do that up here. Oh, there he is. The OG. Lion Voltron, that is. Well, I do usually prefer the Car Voltron. He gets no love. Let's see. Let's read the box. Long ago, mighty robot warrior, Voltron was created to protect the galaxy from evil. Now five young heroes must master the power of Voltron Lions to defeat the Ga Galra Empire and restore peace. Of course, then you got little blurbs over here. Blue Lion. Wa Blue Lion's water powers make it a must-have for any battle ready to kick into high gear. Red Lion. The fierce Red Lion is incredibly fast and... As the right arm of Voltron wields the blazing sword. Black Lion, the leader of Voltron, the Black Lion's incredible power is known throughout the universe. It's this Green Lion represents the power of nature. The Green Lion guards and protects by Green Voltron's shield. And, excuse me, Yellow Lion. The, the Voltron Lion is, I mean, the Yellow Lion is the toughest and strongest lion with powerful armor and claw attack. Okay, get back into... For some reason it calls them Metal Defender. I, I guess it is die cast metal, but still. There's the picture. Now they call it Lions of Voltron Metal Defender. Could have you know been the heavy metal defender. Anyways, let's stop playing around and let's get right into her. Form blazing box opener. Open. Some people may be wondering why are you choosing to open it now? Well, I I don't have room for so many box stock anymore, so we are going. Oh man, that's a mess. Oop. I'm going to be opening more of this type of stuff so I can save room. Man, this thing is tough. Okay, first thing in here we have a Instruction sheet. So many instructions. So many. Well, we don't need no stinking instructions. Let's just get them out. Here's the black lion. Make sure I'm getting that on camera. Yeah. Oh, he's got a lot of these little plastic bits on him. Come on, let go. 
Don't hang the lion. We'll get them first in lion form. Boom. The black lion. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to go on there. The wings. If you will. There we go. Okay. Yeah, green lion. Oh, I see. They were in ready to form Voltron position. Yellow lion. Blue lion. Red lion. Let me grab the accessories out of here now. And look how much room that took up. And now, it only takes up this amount of room. First, let's get them all out. <laughs> now, as I said, I've only watched a few episodes. Well, I haven't seen the last couple seasons. It's just got getting a little weird. And yeah, I guess I'm just getting old. Oops. They do not want to set up right. There we go. It's the Lion Team. We got the green, piloted by Pidge. I'm just doing this by memory. I, I can't really, not sure I really remember correctly. The blue lion, piloted by either Sven or... No, wait, that was in the original. Okay, I don't know who piles the blue lion in this one. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the princess. Eventually. Black Lion by Keith and by... What that dude with the white hair is? Who you don't know if he's real, if he's... It's not important. Yellow Lion, piloted by Hunk. And the Red Lion by Lance. At least I think so, as I said. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, what do you say we... Take a look. They've got a lot of articulation. The tails. You can feel the metal. It's good metal. The head sculpt. Oh, he's got a working jaw. You can hear that. And it appears the front legs are as one. Then we have the yellow lion, bulky, big jawed. Okay, his jaw is not snappy. Tail, close to legs. Looks good. Oh, I don't know why that's moving like that, but okay. Guess we'll find out when we transform them. Now the black lion has these. The weird looking wings on these ones, so more like thruster wings. Good legs. Tail is more flippy, and the other ones are more soft metal. Of course, whoops. I've always wondered how he could open and roar without Voltron's face popping out going, What's up, dude? We'll close that up. Now, unlike the old lion, the head, these little ear things do not fold up or down. Close to Blue Lion. Similar in design to the yellow, only not as bulky. More of a snappy jaw. The legs don't have, front legs don't have any articulation. And the Green Lion. He's got a snappy jaw. And a thin waist. Yes, wibble tail. Yeah. The way it's not much in the way of 
articulation on the legs. I'm guessing that's to help in the transformation. Which we shall now do. Go, go, lions. Let's see. How does this transform? Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a... Oh, there we go. Ah, okay, those go down. Paws go... Somehow. Okay, I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing. Let's grab the old instruction, shall we? Red lion. Swinks. Sorry. First thing you do is push the tail in. Then you fold these somehow. Oh, okay. Folds up and in like that. Okay. So you got the little hole bit there. Come on, fold in. Oops, how about that? Then, let's see, what's next? Okay, it shows the legs going in. Yeah. But it doesn't exactly tell you how to get them in there. I didn't do anything. Ah, okay, see? I just had to pull them out. And you just gotta fold them back before you do it. Oh, here we go. Boom, just like that. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Be easier if I had a picture. Okay, apparently it's supposed to go like this, and that pops up, boom, red lion, see I believe red lion, is, where's the picture of this whole, thing? red lion's on this side, okay I feel like I didn't do that right, but I don't know what I did wrong. So we'll just leave that as that for now. Do the green, which is, I'm guessing, an identical transformation. Boom. Boom. Tail in. I said tail in. There we go. This part must... There we go. Okay. Does not appear to want to. Here we go. It doesn't want to close. It doesn't look like that's in all the way. Wish my grandson was here, he could do this in no time. Mm. Starting to get angry. Might just have to break it. Okay, I have no idea why that won't click in. Use my here again to push that in. Is the foot supposed to come up the other way? Okay, maybe uh, it does supposed to go that way on this one. Hmm. A 
maybe not. Okay, back to the instructions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing this wrong. That's why you should always check the instructions. I'm not sure how this is going to help. They say just don't give you enough room to work in these things. Okay, we're about to just say screw it and just move on. Because I cannot get that leg to go down. So, screw it. Moving on. There we go. Green line. Slightly deformed green line, but close enough. Blue line. I'm guessing probably simple transformation I'm hoping okay yeah, the front legs don't move at all mm-hmm Double check on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. My bad. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. I suppose I should put the like tail in. Now it says that, there we go, okay mine just was really crampy. the leg foot kind of weird to me but okay hmm. apparently I didn't do this foot right I keep saying that it's supposed to swivel but honestly it looks like a single piece of plastic to me Push the neck in. Mm -hmm. Boom. Foot. Okay, now hopefully the black line goes a little bit easier. This is taking way too long. We're almost at 20 minutes now. I'm sure the video of watching me transform this guy is not very entertaining. a piece of <clears throat> plastic on the front. Okay, like that, like that. The legs, of course, come straight down. The tail flops in. The head pops out. 
just like that. Okay. Now we're starting to cook with propane. Green line goes there with this wonky arm. Red line goes there. Kind of surprised these don't swivel, you know, but they don't. Blue line goes. Here, oops, there we go. Your line goes, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the right way. Of course, it doesn't want to go because, oh man, I swear these things are trying to drive me nuts. Okay, and of course the blazing sword. Uh, I apologize, I do not seem to be able to get this dang thing to work right. There we go. Yeah, nah, damn, paws keep moving on me. It's not very sturdy. Get this blazing sword. Which looks weird, but okay. And the shield. I believe it goes right there. And there we go. We won't stick too long on this. The details are get my, are nice. The paint apps where they have it is good. Looks like the Voltron, though the hippie feet. The way that everything seems just blocked down to block the lion seems kind of weird. Though it just might be my transformation technique, which is, I don't have one. Good quality robots, though. The parts are just so freaking... Honestly, I'd go with classic if I was going to get another one. But it'll go good in my... Voltron collection and there it is honestly a wonky toy I'm not even sure a little kid would have fun with this thing but since we're now at 23 minutes and this video has gone way too long I'm not going to waste your time on too many things like as you can see it looks pretty good I would still have this crap on there but doesn't do very well at hiding the extra bits on the feet lions. Yeah, that's that's just one piece of plastic, so I don't know what it was talking about folding them in. Um, honestly, yeah, I don't think it'd have very much good play value for a kid, because it's just, everything's loose and wonky, and might be why it never caught on. But there you go. Voltron Defender of the Universe. And I've really got nothing else to say. For little kids, I wouldn't get it. I mean, if you're a completionist and want a good a Voltron to add to your collection, it's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure when I bought it, I bought it on sale. Let's see if there's any labels on there. No, but I'm, I usually buy everything on sale. And there you go. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, Take pity on me on this video. It kind of sucked. Double D.